is to DIY for and I have been seeing these types of bags and purses all over the internet. They seem very trendy right now and I thought to myself, gee that would be pretty easy to make with a couple of placemats. So let me show you how I put it together. So I grabbed these two round placemats from the dollar store. I have some scrap material, a leather belt, and some scissors. Now, basically I'm just using this belt actually to measure how long I want the fabric to be because you don't need it to go all the way around these circles. After that, I made my fabric about six inches wide and cut myself a strip. So I'm folding in the sides here and then we're gonna fold down the top here just to create a nice seam before we connect it to the placemats. So I just kind of pin that in place before I stitch this. A very simple straight stitch across to make a clean hemline. And you are going to need to do that on both ends of your fabric before the next step. I then just pinned all of my fabric around the outside of my one place mat. So this is one side of the fabric. Now prior to this you could probably go ahead and create a little hem on that fabric before you do this. I just did it all in one step. So as you can see I'm kind of folding my fabric down here and I'm creating that hem and just stitching it into the placemat. If you're wondering, it actually went in really easily. This is just a basic needle, straight stitch, and my sewing machine had no problem with it. So this is what it looked like when I was done my one side. I did leave a little bit of a gap there, and it's really easy because you can follow the lines of the placemat to make sure that everything's going on properly. The other side's a little tricky, but once you get it started, it's pretty easy. So as you can see, we're going to be kind of stitching it differently. We had the uh, wrong side facing us but this time we're going to have the right side facing us and I'm actually folding the fabric underneath this time and stitching as close as I can to the edge of the fabric and into the place mat. Again just following the lines there but uh, I'm doing my best to show you hopefully it makes a lot of sense. It's really quite easy once you get it started though and you take that all the way around the other side of your second place mat. So I used a belt for my strap just trimming it down here and because it's real leather it's gonna be really hard to sew through so I'm using those holes and I'm just going to stitch around the other end of this metal piece of the belt so this is me just stitching it into that fabric piece that we put in here I will say that this probably wouldn't be great for very heavy items in your purse but if you want to reinforce it with some thicker fabric behind that to back it that would probably help it out a little bit to close it all up I just have a uh, piece of velcro here it does have a sticky back on it but I reinforced it with some hot glue and so now we can open and close my nice new bag and that's really all there was to it once I got things going it was pretty simple to put together and I think I'll be using it lots this summer if you like this DIY be sure to give this video a like and don't forget to send me photos of your own DIYs that you're making at home I want to see it if you're making it so you can do so by following me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. just make sure you tag me in any of those photos so I can check out your DIYs please in the comments below if you have any suggestions for upcoming DIYs you'd like to see me tackle this summer this um, you know, spring summer season, please I want to know what it is you want to see so leave that down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe because next Wednesday I will be back with a new DIY. Cheers!